Now this is Los Angeles County. Uh, Orange County pretty much mirrors this, except for it's a little bit higher. The numbers are about 5% higher. Median price home in Orange County, 19, or in LA County, 1990, was 209,000. Same recession, so no real appreciation. Then the gradual recovery. Then the, the subprime rocket ride. The peak, 2007, 2008, 2009 meltdown. The gradual recovery now, property rise have been back pretty much up to the top. Now let me share with you the rent history. And I want you to notice something. This is in 1990, the history of rents. In 1990, you can see rents, and you can see the steady, gradual incline. Now, in 2008, look what, in 2009, look what happened to rents. They actually, when we had the massive meltdown and all these foreclosures, rents actually went up. But here's the point I want you to grasp, okay? Because we didn't know this before 2008. See, the 2008-2009 meltdown was the greatest meltdown since the 30s. But I would bet you, if we took a survey of 100 of the brightest economists in this country, and we asked this question, stock market dropped 60%, real estate prices dropped 50 to 60%, what happens to rents? I would bet you. 95% of those economists would say rents have got to drop because there's a massive economic crisis. And rents have got to drop 10, 20, 30, 40%. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Here's why it didn't happen. And this is what is so profound about this. And that no one is teaching this. This is what is so profound about that. And why real estate is different from every other investment class. It didn't happen because See, when you look at the meltdown, okay, all these people lost their house, right? So they, if you got foreclosed on, you had two choices, be homeless or rent. Well, naturally most people choose to rent, right? But here's the other part that's important, what's different, see, what makes real estate different from every other investment class? Real estate has a utility, meaning you can use it. What can you use stocks for? What can you use stocks, silver, gold, mutual funds, what can you use them for? The answer is nothing. They are a pure investment play. See, and here's why this is so important. Okay? That utility has its own market value. There's the asset value, which is the structure, which is the land and the structure. That is a separate valuation. But the rent is detached from that. And that's a good thing. And see, when you have a property, a rental property, it's it, what you're really doing, when you invest in real estate and you have a rental property, what you're doing is you're not only getting an investment, but you're actually beginning a business. It's like a hotel, right? A hotel motel. You know, and, and well, in today's world, you know, there's Airbnb and all that kind of stuff, right? Which is basically you're getting in the hotel business. But here's what's important to look at this. Try to find a stock that looks like that. And if you look at rent history, this goes back to the 40s. Try to find a stock that has that level of stability. It doesn't exist. You saw the volatility of the stock market. You saw the volatility even with real estate with that severe meltdown. But when we look at the, the volatility, when property values came down in 2008, 2009, they came down anywhere from 40 to 60 percent, depending on where you were in the country. But if you're right here, okay, and the price of the property dropped 40 percent, rent didn't go down. You can actually bump your rent, but all of a sudden the price of the property went down 40 percent. What does that tell you? Is it time to buy, or is it time to sell? It's time to buy. Because your return on investment just went through the rough. But what were most people doing? Selling or sitting on the sidelines. Why were they doing that? Why, When all of a sudden, let's say you have a, a rental property that you can get 3,000 a month of rent that, that's worth 600 grand and now all of a sudden that 600 grand you can buy it for 400 but the rent's still 3,000. And the average person is like, why better not buy? 
positive cash flow. I better not buy. I go lower. See, our focus is on the wrong target. Our focus is on the wrong thing. See, the quality of your life is directly attached to the amount of cash flow that's coming in every month. Isn't that true? If you have no monthly income, the quality, quality of life suffers pretty severely. That's what we want to focus, is how do we create alternative income now that we can continue to grow?